So tell us a little bit about that week before your test and how many practice exams did you take? So uh, I traveled uh, 15 days roughly, not 15, like 10 days. 10 days before my exam. And then uh, when I reach, uh, I was already uh, uh, studied the, the material. I know it's all the material, but it's not enough for the exam because maybe you know all the material and you know how to solve all the material, but you are not yet ready. You have to do tests. You have to get ready for the exam environmental environment. So you have to be in the mood of the exam. Uh, exam is something, knowledge is something else. So you have the knowledge, but you are not yet ready for the exam. And uh, I told you, since I have like a philosophy from someone who coming from a, a competitor athlete, so we call this last straight line. So last straight line, what we do, we sprint. We have to sprint. Even there is no overwhelming like this. Start to think uh, th th this all out of the box. I'm not tired. I'm not uh, overwhelmed. I'm not anything. You have to go last straight line, concentrate. I, I took vacation myself. I took it from my, my vacation. I went, I traveled. And uh, almost uh, eight, nine days, I was doing only practice exam. So practice, practice, practice. This is the last preparation for the exam. You have to be in the mood of the, of the exam. You cannot study anymore, finish. It's too late to study now. When you are awake before the exam, it's too late to study, is to prepare the exam. So what I was doing, I took an, uh, an, 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 a mock exam, practice exam. Like you said, you can purchase in the internet, uh, $30 or something like this, you can get, so there is so many. So I purchased myself. I purchased a couple of, uh, uh, Pranita gave me one and I purchased the, the, the normal NCC one and I purchased two, two others. Okay. So I have almost around five. So what I was doing today, I do the practice exam. I, when I finished, I corrected straight away. I check my marks and I see where is my mistakes and I go, I try to correct. And where is something I didn't understand the concept, I go study this question. Mm. All this, I pass all the journey doing this. So I start usually from five in the morning or six, something like that. Five, just start uh, to wake up myself and uh, take uh, coffee, whatever. And then I go for 55 question and I take a break. Take a break, maximum 20 minutes. I go back, I finish the other 55. And then when I finish, I correct myself. I see what is the mistake. I start to correct myself and I study the concept that I didn't, uh, that I didn't understand. And I find so many uh, missings here. Like here you are filling the gaps. Mm. The, the, what you, 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 you studied, maybe you missed during your study uh, cycle, you will find it here during the practice. Mm. So during the practice, you still, we are not yet in the exam. We still have time to fix the, the, the problems. So I do this. The next day, I redo the same FE exam. And I can give you some score. I, do for, I did, for example... The, the NCC one, I took the first day, 65, 66, something like this. The next day took 88. And then, and the other one, same thing. I took like 67, something like this. The next day, 87, 89, something like this. And this is what I was doing. So every day I take new practice exam, not every two day. Because one day I do the exam, I correct, I, I check the concept, I study what I mean, something that I didn't understand uh, good, uh, so I have it in my mind. The next day I will do the same exam. And then the next day I take new practice exam. So it takes me around four, I did four, yeah. Four with the NCC one, so five. 
almost. And then the last day, I did what you said. Just take rest. You can read something like this, okay? You can pass. If you have doubt in anything, take five minutes, 10 minutes. But you don't sit on a table for hours. It's not good. Yeah, practice exam is uh, it's, it's very helpful. I highly recommend, you know, taking practice exams. And, and I really like how you dived in. I remember, I think Julie did something similar to that, where she took the practice exam, the NCS, she, and then she would repeat it again because she would go over her mistakes. And then the next day she will redo it again, just to make sure she got it. And she did that mm. like all the time, just to make sure like, to see where, where she was at and her progress. And she kept seeing like improvements each time with her practice exam. So I, I think- And we can come back all the time to the concept I told you. For example, if I take a practice exam, I see, for example, any uh, mistake in transportation. And I say, why I did this mistake, this problem? Maybe I didn't understand the concept. I can go back to the course and see how he is explaining it. And I find so many things. Uh, yeah. So many, uh, for example, uh, for the for the column in the construction, I understand it the last week that we, for the column we use these table. At the last, mm -hmm. I mean, just a couple of days before the exam, I knew that this column is for the for the column is not for the beam, and I didn't pay attention at all. And uh, also for the uh, for the station in um, in the transportation, how to calculate the the, the station. I knew it just uh, days before the for the exam. So the, the, you can find some some uh, like gap that you didn't study well during your cycle, and you can go back to the to the to the videos to the to your cheat sheet to your and all this. Uh, so you can go back and uh, and trace it and trace uh, how you can build it up, and you will be more confident. Finish. Yeah. That's great. I'm going to actually start recommending that to my students now. <laughs> I'll quote you. I'll say that it came from you. Uh, but yeah, I actually really like that. I think I, I get what, what you're saying, because when you were studying for steel, you said the table, like you thought it was for beams and until like last minute you realized it was for columns. Because when you're studying, you're just trying to grasp as much as you can. And then also, you know, your brain just seeing it for the first time. So you miss a lot of details, right? And then when you see it the second time, then you understand it more then. And then I feel like the practice exam, it just made you kind of like put, connect everything and then close all yeah. the gaps and just make sure that you, you got all the concepts. And I think it was, yeah. it's, it's really, it's, it's really good tip. And I think, I hmm. think people should actually do that. Yeah. yeah.